yet. We are sitting at $3,433 out of the $3,500 that we need. That is less than $70 to hit that incentive, which is amazing. Great work, everyone. The progress has been astounding. Other incentives to watch out for are the super fancy pants adventure, choose your own outfit one. So you get to pick which outfit we will see for that run. And also coming up, we have a spooky run incentive for Axiom Verge 2, sitting at a $2,000 incentive. So let's try to meet that, everyone. You are all doing amazing raising money for Malala Fund. All right, so next up, we have a run from Flying Fox and CBK seeing Sonic the Hedgehog Forever Tails vs. Knuckles Showcase. Take it away. Hello. Hi, um, hello. Hello. <laughs> I don't know who's going to start, sorry. That's all right. All right. Well, yeah, welcome, everyone. Welcome to Sonic One Forever. Um, so yeah, me and Flying Fox are going to show you a bit of uh, Tails and Knuckles. Uh, and we've got the lovely Alice on commentary. Hello, I'm back again. Um, yeah, as, <laughs> as I said before, I've run um, Sonic 3 and Sonic 3 Air. I've run um, both Tails and Knuckles in Sonic 3 Air, but um, not in Sonic 1. Um, I have watched a lot of it, so I do have a pretty solid idea of what's going on, but I always love watching these runs because the movement always looks so impressive. Yep. Okay, well, we can do a countdown and get started, and then yeah, Alice can get into explaining the game for you guys. So, uh, three, two, one, go. So, Sonic 1 Forever is a... Um, it's kind of like a, like a fan project to, um, like made by like Team Forever to kind of give like a modern quality of life update to the original Sonic 1. And um, there's a bunch of different features on it and it's based on the 2013 um, port of the game on mobile. So um, it has all of those features plus a lot of other quality of life things. You'll notice that both runners are choosing to run in 4x3. Um, the game is actually in 16x9 normally, but you can change the resolution you're playing in. And that's actually to make some of the bosses a little bit faster because by reducing the size of the screen, you can um, manipulate how the bosses move because they have to adjust for the bigger screen size. So um, that's why we're still seeing it in 4x3, even though it is a kind of modern um, retelling of the original game. So right now we're going to see a differentiation in how these two um, characters play out. Knuckles just did what's called a super glide there, which is a very cool piece of tech to the character. Um, by gliding as you hit an enemy, you can get the momentum from that enemy or um, ring box or whatever you happen to be landing on into your glide. Whereas Flying Fox um, is showing off some very, very impressive movement along the bottom path there, which is the more conventional route through the stage. So Knuckles having a, having a small advantage in that stage. I'm trying my best not to be favoritist towards Knuckles. I'm going to try my absolute <laughs> hardest, but I can't really make any promises. Um, so Green Hill 3, um, in the original game, you've got um, these very like wild strats where you can um, go right off the top and bounce across a load of boxes. But um, Tails and Knuckles um, have their own different ways of doing this. So Knuckles is um, like not able to jump quite as high as the other characters. So he's making use of the bottom route there. And because of Tails' movement, he's actually also going to make use of the bottom route because he doesn't need to um, worry as much about his speed. He can get a lot of speed from flying into ceilings and truncating his jump. Um, generally can just carry a lot of that momentum through his flight and go straight through the end of the stage. And both characters very, very um, even um, in RTA towards the end of that stage there. Both um, characters handling the boss with invincibility as well, making it nice and simple. Mm. Yeah, we can skip the score countdown, which is quite nice as well in this game. Don't have to wait for that. Oh yeah, so um, a lot of classic games are timed um, real time minus time bonus because the time bonus makes it faster to wait at the finish line sometimes. So um, a lot of these remasters, um, including Sonic 3 Air, which I've run, um, will allow you to skip that. And it just makes RTA a more reliable timing method in that scenario. Both characters here showing off their um, mobility and how they can um, avoid a lot of obstacles with their uh, flying and gliding. Also Elemental Shield, so this is something that is not normally in um, the original Sonic 1, um, but they are from Sonic 3 specifically, and they have been added to this game. Um, the Fire Shield gives you immunity to fire, and in a stage like Marble Zone, where there's lots of lava, it's a very nice buff to have. Mm. Flying Fox showing off a great example of this now, being able to spin dash straight under over that lava section there. Um, CBK about to do exactly the same thing as well. Tails also has um, a mechanic in this called Flight Cancel, um, which really opens up Tails' mobility. In the original games, um, with Tails' flight, if you overshoot, then you have to 
um, try and stop yourself and like lower yourself slowly to the ground. But in these games, you can just stop Tails' fight whenever you fancy and end up in a ball form and just drop straight down. So there's a lot of cool movement that you can do with Tails. He's very, very precise, but very, very satisfying when it all goes well. Got through Marble 1. <laughs> Oh yeah, through Marble 1. Straight into Marble 2, which is also horrible. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, Marble, Marble's my least favourite. <laughs> yeah, Marble 2 has a lot of cycles going on with um, these like lava falls and um, crushes, um, like fireballs. Like there's just lots of different things you have to worry about with your approach. Um, a lot of like cycles in this game are kind of, some of them will be level based, so from when you enter the stage, and some of them will be from when you like get near to them on the screen. So being able to understand like which ones you're going to be approaching and whether they're based on your current performance in the level or whether they're consistent is a very big part of speedrunning these games. Tails going through the midsection there. Knuckles not quite keeping up in this stage. Um, Tails kind of showing off some of his um, very interesting and like technical movement. Uh, Knuckles is going to be able to catch up in a big way in some of the other stages though, because there are a couple of skips in this game that are. Knuckles is, I believe, the only character that can do at the moment. So. Yes, yeah, ceiling skips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the, my favorite thing about it is it's exactly the same as the trick in S3K. It's like, <laughs> like it's it's amazing yeah. how well like the the tech and the movement carries over from these. They've they've actually like purposely given Knuckles the tech from um, S3K mm. with the um like physics and the movement and how he controls versus Sonic 2 and Sonic Mania. So. If you're a Sonic 3 runner, then then this game is like fantastic for you. Flying Fox right now is um, yeah. demonstrating something that I think is in the original 2013 um, mobile version that's carried over to this, which is that because that version had all three characters, they actually added in a completely new route in the top of Marble 3 that you need to be able to glide or fly to be able to get into. So um, both um, characters are going to be making use of this. Actually, Knuckles has his first ceiling skip in this level. Yeah, he does. Um, as so well, on top Tails of that. Is, um, <laughs> so. Yeah, Tails has done a bit of a platforming, whereas Knuckles climbs up here and just sneaks up over this barrier. Now, Team Forever Tricky. did think about this, um, and they did actually put some things in the way so that if you went up here, you would soft lock yourself. But this one happens to have a hole in it, so you can kind of sneak back down <laughs> into the stage and still make use of the ceiling skip, even though it would otherwise get you stuck up there. Nice little shortcut. <laughs> This boss is unfortunately much harder for Knuckles than for Tails as well, because um, Tails has a normal jump height equal with Sonic. Um, Knuckles has a lower jump height, which is a mechanic from S3K that they carried over into all the uh, following games to try and keep him on his own path rather than being in Sonic's path. So um, that is another. Um, that's a, that's one of the one of the downsides of carrying over those things from S3K is that you're going to get mm. um, certain things that are slightly harder for Knuckles. Tails, meanwhile, is doing what Tails does best and is flying straight over the stage in Spring Yard, um, avoiding all the platforming and <laughs> dropping straight down into that gap there. That is a much harder jump for Sonic, I can tell you that. But for, um, for Knuckles and Tails, they're both either going to fly or glide and just drop straight into that corner, which is very, very handy. So Knuckles here getting set up with the start here, picking up um, speed shoes here as well just to go extra fast. One thing that you'll see um, Knuckles doing a lot of as well is being able to um, land and kind of spin dash immediately from um, gliding. So when Knuckles lands, you can spin dash the moment that he's in that landing animation. So you can kind of use that to stop yourself and set up spin dashes very quickly. Whereas um, Tails would have to work slightly harder to be able to do that. You have to bring yourself to a complete stop. Otherwise, you'll just roll on the spot. And there's Knuckles gliding into that same gap the same way that Tails flew in. <laughs> oh, Flying Fox not quite getting the um, little jump in there. That jump is very tight. Um, but if you get it, you can save like a couple of seconds. Not not the biggest deal, but it's uh, one of those things that people always try and go for. It looks very cool when it works. Also, just to update everyone, we have hit our Tails Boss Rush incentive. It has been met. So, uh, yeah, super excited to see that. Okay. Amazing. That's good. <laughs> I have to learn how to commentate that now. <laughs> It's just in all the, the bosses, is it? <laughs> yeah, I, I can't imagine it's going to be too different. So Knuckles here, I'm just gliding over the whole stage. There's a lot of stages where, I, I think this is kind of very similar to CD 2011, where um, the game was definitely intended to be played with a character that can't fly. Um, and it, it turns out Sonic 1's kind of similar. There's a lot of moments where um, you can kind of glide or fly over a lot of obstacles because they haven't built the stage with the idea in mind that you're just going to fly over everything, so you can you can really like get some ground with these um, flight mechanics. It's very cool. Oh, lovely <gasps> jump off of that box there. Sadly, getting caught by the spike balls, but lovely movement through there. That's intentional. That's okay. That, that that's intentional uh, damage boost there because you can you can't make the earliest cycle like Tails can with Knuckles, unfortunately. Oh, I see. Uh, he gotcha, gets crushed. Gotcha. 
So I'm glad someone yeah. knows what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's right. So, um, I think in, maybe in the original, because I'm not sure, but um, I know in this one you can't with Sonic either make that little cycle. Yeah. Tails heading into Labyrinth already. I very nearly didn't. You nearly didn't. That would yeah. be bad. Please make it into yeah. Labyrinth. I did. <laughs> Sincerely, me. <laughs> Labyrinth 1's um, a stage that has a really cool thing in it that we don't actually see with these characters. Um, so in the like original game, there's like this thing where you can go down and press a button and it spawns a platform. But if you can fly, you don't need to spawn the platform. So you can just kind of go. Um, so Tails has now skipped a large chunk of the stage and is going to be moving on to the second part of the stage straight away. This boss for um, Knuckles here, this is unfortunately one of those ones where not being able to jump quite as high is a bit of a downside. Yes, you do have to wait for the boss to come boss. down. There we go, beautifully done. Yeah. So Tails finishing up um, lab one there. Knuckles is going to head in there now. Um, Knuckles is going to be able to do the same thing that Tails did and glide over that section that would normally spawn the platform. But there's also going to be our second ceiling skip in here. So we're going to see Knuckles gain a little bit of ground in this stage, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> also, these music packs are great, by the way. These are like the, the remastered music packs um, mm. for these. You can actually um, install your own music packs, and you can have all kinds of wonderful customizations with these, which is a really cool feature of these, um, these kind of like quality of life mods. They usually accommodate a lot mm. of um, customization as well, which is really cool. I was going to say, so, bang, so this is actually my music pack. Oh, is it your music yeah, pack? There we go. Well. <laughs> yeah. I'm, it sounds I wonderful. It, yeah. So Thank Knuckles you. is going for this ceiling um, ceiling clip here. It's it's kind of inaccurate to call it a clip necessarily because it's more like kind of... The game doesn't let you climb over the stage barrier, but it does let you clamber up if you're on the edge. So you can kind of just mm -hmm. use a bunch of intended mechanics to kind of do that. So Knuckles straight through Act 1. Tails, meanwhile, is um, heading towards the end of Act 2 there. Um, <laughs> Sounds like this music pack has gotten rid of the normal drowning music, so you're all spared from that anxiety. <laughs> uh, that's, that's actually part of the options. Oh, is it? It's part of the game? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. Well, there you go. You never have to hear it again if you don't want to. <laughs> Flying Fox now moving into, I think, a lot of people's least favorite stage in the game. Um, I know for the original game, this is the hardest stage in the game for both glitched and glitchless, um, with some of the most intimidating tech and very high chance of dying. <laughs> So, hopefully it will all go very smoothly. I think there's a... Is there a bubble shield in, in this section? Or am I thinking of a different section? I might be getting confused. Labyrinth does what look very similar. It? Uh -huh. If it's Lab 3, there's a bubble shield at the beginning, and then there's a lightning shield just before the boss at the end. Ah, uh, there we go, yeah. I know there's a bubble shield somewhere. Yeah, yeah I can't do bubbleless now. Oh, that's no. unfortunate. Oh, yeah. FF's going for bubbleless, so that's... Um, Going Ooh. for the whole underwater section without yeah. taking the bubble, which is Can't really hard. Now. Oh, Norris, it's that's super hard to do. I can confirm that that was still anxiety inducing, even with the different <laughs> music. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, God, that There we go. <laughs> Try not to die. So, I'm um, Flying Fox here so coming up to one of the uh, more challenging parts of Lab 3. So this is the boss climb. Um, you don't have any rings, and you can pick up the lightning shield here for an extra hit, but once you've used that, that is it. There's a lot of things that can hurt you in here, and if you go too fast and you hit the boss, you can get ahead of the boss potentially, but it's very risky. If you go too fast and hit the boss, you'll send yourself straight back down. Um, but Flying Fox handling it perfectly, getting through just fine. While CBK is going through this section um, and heading up to the uh, boss herself, we can probably get a yeah. donation or two in. Absolutely. So we have $20 from Clove, who says, I'm enjoying this Tails and Knuckles block so far. Good luck to both FF and CBK on the race. And shout out to Alice, who's doing such a great job on commentary as well. Donation goes towards the Tails boss rush, even though I'm a Nux fan. We need to see our buddy Miles for longer today. And hey, we met the incentive. <laughs> amazing. Thank you so much, Claude. Thank you. Claude Thank is you. an amazing Knuckles runner. Absolute yeah. legend of the Nux gang. Shout out to everyone in the yeah. Nux gang. Also, I mean, it's the Tails gang too, I guess, but also the Nux gang. <laughs> <laughs> While that was going on as well, Tails demonstrating perfectly there how flying over the stage in um, Starlight can 
bypass a lot of what goes on in there. The the thing with Starlight is it's kind of like a lot of um, like that it kind of like tries to push you in certain directions with like these long kind of like. I want to call them like roller coaster sections where it's kind of just got you on a set path. And then there'll be sections as well where if you go too far, it tries to stop you going back and it can get really, really messy. But Tails doesn't really need to worry too much about that because as you can see, he is just chilling out over the top of the stage right now. <laughs> and straight through Starlight 2. CBK meanwhile has a really, really beautiful boss climb there. Gonna be moving into <laughs> Starlight herself. Yeah, I like Starlight. It's nice. Starlight has really chill music as well. Mm. It's, it's such really a change nice in pace before. for the end of the game. Through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the order of the levels seems really strange. Like, you've got marble, which is so difficult, like, right at the beginning, and then starlight, which is really nice. Oh, Tails going for the big jump here. Getting right above the stage. Knuckles, meanwhile, gliding over most of it, so Knuckles can still, uh, still bypass a lot of things as well. <laughs> Yeah, this stage I think is the most like egregious for Tails being able to skip it because you can just fly over everything. And this boss as well. So in the in the original game, you're going for like frame perfect jumps off of these ramps to try and hit the boss sooner, or you're waiting for the cycles with the um with the spike balls. Tails, you can, you can just hit him. You know, you don't have to worry about it. And that's going to be Tails into Act Three, heading on to Scrap Brain in a second. Knuckles meanwhile just starting off Act Two. And again, the beautiful gliding. Look at it. It's so satisfying when you've got that long <laughs> so to glide majestic. in as a knuckle player. So yeah. majestic. <laughs> and the jump straight over there as well. Drop here. Beautiful stuff. So Scrap Brain is a very cycle-driven level. Um, there's a lot of different things in here that can hurt you that you have to think about. So like platforms coming down, there's the spinning ice cream sandwich platforms. Um, there's like flames that shoot up from the floor. There's spike balls on like spinners. There's giant circular saws. There's just a bit of everything. You have to really, really kind of be very careful. Um, but when, once you know you're on a good spot with those cycles, you can just shoot straight through, which is what Flying Fox was able to do there. CBK meanwhile is uh, going through one of those roller coaster sections I mentioned and using the momentum to go straight over the top of the stage. And another roller coaster here. section ah. here. I can get a big jump to the boss room there, but it's quite tricky. I missed it. This boss is, is tricky for Knuckles. <laughs> yeah, if, if it's hard for Sonic and Tails, it's even harder for Knuckles, because again, I don't <laughs> think even with a frame perfect jump, I don't think Knuckles can hit him. You can get two hits in. Um, I'll try and do that. Like that. It's quite tricky though. Yeah, weird quirk of oh, these um, platforms there. as well. You get more momentum from the center. Yeah. You think it would be like being on like kind of the seesaw part, but actually being in the middle gets you the most momentum. There we go. Flying Fox cleaning up um, Scrap Brain 2 very nicely over there. We're going to be moving into um, the final full stage for Flying Fox. Um, and this is actually one of the places that Knuckles has a slight advantage again. So um, you're going to see Flying Fox do the stage um, intentionally. It doesn't seem like that long of a stage, but trust me, Knuckles has a way of doing it faster. Um, <laughs> quite a bit faster. Hopefully. <laughs> so it's also like borrowed from Labyrinth as well. A lot of people will refer to this as Lab 4 um, rather than Scrap 3 because it is uh, very Labyrinth themed, just with the grayscale and purple water rather than the uh, orange that you get normally. And that's Flying Fox into the final boss. So Ooh. from my understanding in this game, normally in Sonic 1, if you enter at a certain speed um, from the start, so you just hold right, the boss will always have the same platform. But from my understanding, they changed that in this. So the boss pattern mm. is completely random. Is that correct? Yeah, you can't manipulate yeah. it in this version. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, I thought so. Sadly. <laughs> So um, Flying Fox is looking to get eight hits here, just uh, trying to put herself in the best position to have Robotnik accessible to her. Sometimes if you commit too far to one side, you can end up on the wrong side of the crushers and you can't hit him, but right now Flying Fox is playing this perfectly. Knuckles, meanwhile, going through Scrap Brain, taking a damage oh, boost damage there. Boosting. So yeah, the, 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 the best thing you can do if cycles aren't right in your favor is um. Take a damage boost and keep <gasps> moving. Oh no, it's unfortunate. 
So, um, yeah, Crushing those crushes, cars. bit rude. Um, what we saw CBK trying to do there was um, truncate her jump under the bottom of it, so get back into a running animation from um, spin dashing, because if you're in a running state, you will uh, maintain your speed over a flat surface, whereas if you're spin dashing, you will slowly lose it. But um, sadly, the crusher was uh, coming time. down at just the same time. Oh, time for Flying Fox, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh, GG. <laughs> GG. GG Flying Fox. Oh, All right, CBK. Let's go. We're three. <laughs> I missed the jump the first time and it threw me off and I was like, oh. <laughs> It's very unfortunate when that happens. Yeah. So GG for Flying Fox. CBK, meanwhile, is going to be coming up to um, Scrap Brain 3 and is going to be able to show off that extra bit of tech that I mentioned previously. <laughs> Just going to sit through this uh, little score screen first. Yep. Can we find out what Flying Fox's time was um, just while we're waiting for this cutscene? All right, so we have an 18.05 for Flying Fox. Amazing, that's uh, an that incredible time. time. Fif that's yeah. 15 seconds of world record. That's really good time. There we go, <laughs> but, um, CBK gets the little wall clip there. So by doing that, you can just spin dash straight over. So that is like the, the fastest version of Lab... Of, um, I keep saying Lab yeah. 3. It's Scrap 3. It looks like Lab <laughs> but it's not. Lab 4. <laughs> but yeah, that's an incredible time from Flying Fox, and we're going to see what CBK has for us. <laughs> this always scares me. Oh, I missed it then. It always ah, scares me. Play safe, you have right? to react really quickly. Yeah. Ah! Oh, must get I, think you, I think you got him. He was, uh, he was doing the little, yeah. the little grimace. Well, this is the worst one. It's quite difficult oh, enough to the jump, jump height. height. It's so frustrating yeah. as Knuckles, right? Like, Yeah, I just, just can't make it. You can, but if you have to be really quick. Yeah, it's very, very tricky. Just that small difference in jump height makes a lot of... Like, it's the difference between being able to do certain things and not in, like, a lot of the Sonic games. Mm. And it was all originally because they didn't want Knuckles going into Sonic's boss fights. <laughs> Also, there's a face in the background we call Jürgen. Oh, yeah, the there's Jürgen. There he is. Do you see the purple <laughs> eyes, the nose, sure, the mouth? Jürgen. Now you can't unsee it. <laughs> He's well and truly there. Yay. I hope so it's one, one or two more hits now. I think it's two, but I can't count, so... Yeah, I mean, neither do I. <laughs> oh, that was there's it. one, oh, yeah. yay! <laughs> we hey. really can't. <laughs> Okay, and, and that's time. Time is fade to black. It's fade to black. So fade to black. Okay. Time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Incredible run, both of you. Yeah. That was amazing to watch. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> that was fun. What was a uh, what was CBK's time? Oh yes. All right, for CBK, it looks like we have a 20.36. Really, yes, really good you. time. <laughs> so yeah, that's been the, that's been the uh, showcase. So I think we're going to get the boss rush mm -hmm. done now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, yeah, so I think that's just FF. So I'll be jumping out for that. And FF can show you the boss rush, which is really awesome. <laughs> as Tails. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can... Yeah, oh, awesome. Just, I'll just stay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, stay awesome. Stay with us, CBK. Okay. <laughs> yeah, forever. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hopefully not forever. I hope you can do this underestimate, okay? <laughs> like. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, so, about five minutes. So, Boss Rush um, is just a mode where you do the Sonic 1 bosses back to back, but I'm going to be doing it as Tails. And whatever time I end up with, it's going to be the world record because no one's missed the time for it yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, uh, are we ready? I'm ready yeah. when you are. Oh, good. Okay, okay. Uh, three, two, one, go. Oh, my game crashed. 
Oh, <laughs> that's the fastest that's, that's ever been done. Hey, that's the best that was first rushed. That was that was very rushed. <laughs> let's get that let's get that started up again, maybe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That was that was perfect timing. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Oh, can you stream <laughs> stream FF to us? Oh, oh yeah, don't forget so, to yeah, stream I'm it for so us. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No worries, yeah. no worries. Sorry, so, so yeah. my commentators can see what's going on. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, okay. FF. Perfect. Sorry about that. Okay, no ready? Problem. Ready. Uh, three, two, one. Don't crash. <laughs> so yeah, the one thing good. I do know about this boss rush mode is that it's very blue. Um, there's a lot of blue going on. Um, <laughs> obviously, I know the bosses. You know, we've got the uh, got the uh, green hill boss right here with the with the spinning thing that's already gone. Um, <laughs> that was very quick. <laughs> um, so next up, what's next? Marble, marble zone. Yeah. So um, <laughs> wow, we've got a little marble time. theme on the way in. This is cool. This is a voyage of discovery for me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's really cool that they've made this really nice. Like, so, like Team Forever made this, um, and they've added little yeah little routes between, which are taken from parts of different levels, um, and they've made this sort of um, new design for it based on uh, Sky Sky Base, which is, I believe is from Sonic One Eight Bit. It's really nice. Yes, I think so. My limited knowledge of Sonic One Eight Bit agrees with you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, this is, the, this is the Spring Yard boss. I like the little motifs they've got between each stage that are kind of on theme. Like the, now we're in Labyrinth, right? Like this is. Mm, mm. This is cool. It's really nice. forever. Oh, and it's actually the boss climb. That's really awesome. Yeah, yeah, you got all the bosses. It was a little tricky when I first did this because of all the blue. Uh, I found it threw me off a little bit, but it's, it's really nice. Yeah, I suppose the contrast does make it slightly harder to see where you're going, yeah. right? Like, It's a bit less contrast, yeah. You have rings for it, though. That's an upgrade. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Straight through there. Beautiful. Now we're onto Starlight. Oh, with the little bomb guys. That's cool. The Orbanaut there. <laughs> and here they are. Let's and Taylor's just, this Tails. is just not fair. This is cheating. Cheating. I'm sorry. <laughs> Doing this Can boss rush's knuckles is not as fun. <laughs> streamer, do the boss rush. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're on to the last one, then, I guess. Yeah. Oh, of all the things they took to... from Scrap Brain, they had to take. The corridor with all the circular saws. Thank you very much. Yeah, we, we love that bit. So <laughs> here we are. There's no Jürgen in this. The final zone. No, that's sad. Bring back Jürgen. <laughs> yeah, without the music mod as well, it actually has the music from Sky Base Zone as well. It's really cool. Like, oh, I could have it. taken it off. I should have done that. Oh, I like this music. Oh, though. This is cool. Mind. This is all yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Every Everyone, go play Sonic One Forever for yourself and try it out. It's awesome, <laughs> and run the game. It's very fun. <laughs> I would definitely recommend it, and Sonic mm. Two Absolute. Yeah, they, 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 there's no really glitches in these games, so they're great. Like I say, first like games for Sonic. You know, um, there's a lot of cool options. Um, it's really fun. I highly recommend. Oh, oops. Yeah, I mean, just to oh, like thought, um, echo sorry. that sentiment. I um my my first my first Sonic like three experience was playing Sonic mm. Three Air because it was a nice like mm. it, it it was it was a nice gentle curve into playing S three K so like th these these yeah. um like fan made games are usually a very very comfortable way to to learn and run the game mm. and get used to the get used to the controls and everything like that. Exactly, a lot of nice quality of life improvements. Get very comfy to play. Makes for just one more hit here. Yeah, they're definitely like phenomenal games in their own right with like the content that's been added and stuff like that. And there we go. Ooh. That's the last boss. It's definitely so gonna be a PB. I'm guessing time's on fade out again. Uh, it's as you T, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. It's true. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, time. Yeah, that's it. Hey. PB. 317. That's a world record. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's a shocky PB. Hey. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. GGFF. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I missed the two cycles. I was, a, I was afraid of. Um, Dying and having to do the whole thing again. Any no problem? That was points. that was still incredibly impressive. Yeah, that was awesome. Amazing time. All right, awesome. great job, everyone. <laughs> any final sign-offs you want to do before we move forward? Um, Fly Fox, you have any shout-outs first? I can go after you. Uh, well, I think we're all going to do shout-outs to Club Six Hundred One, aren't we? Yeah, yeah for sure. Six Hundred One. Yep. 
Yeah, love you guys. Yep. <laughs> and uh, Team Forever for making a wonderful game. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, same here. You know, all my speedrunning friends, thank you, A-List, so much for being on commentary. You're amazing. Yeah, no thank worries. you, A-List. So much. And CBK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fine folks running with me. Like, I, I love you guys and yeah, and thank you so much. <laughs> I had a, such a fun time and thank you, Frame for Tales, for, for having us as well. And I'm not escaping. I'm, I'm actually commentating the next run as well. So. <laughs> yeah, we've got more A-list. Yes. I'm not signing off just yet. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, so great to have you for the race. Great job. All right, let's give another round of applause for Flying Fox and CBK on that incredible race. And big congrats again, everyone, for hitting that Tails Boss Rush incentive. How awesome to see that. That was great. All right, so speaking of other incentives that we can meet, we always want to be pushing for that next goal. So let's see what's up next. Uh, the one that we are looking at right now, which will be super exciting, is our Axiom Verge 2 Spooky Run. That is open, and make sure to select what incentive you want when you send in your donations. That has a $2,000 goal, and we are at $230. So let's see those donations come in for Axiom Verge 2. You will not want to miss that. All right, we'll see you all after this short break. All right, welcome back, everybody. So good to see all of you here again for more Frost Fatales raising money for Malala Fund. So we are just getting ready for our next run. But in the meantime, let's check in on some donations. We have $25 from Char Bunny, who says, just realized there were bunnies in this game too. So here's another $25. GG to both runners. This was a really cool showcase. Thank you so much, Char Bunny. All right, we have $25 from Amazon who says, cheers to all the runners and staff for hosting these events. Always lovely to watch. Thanks so much, Amazon. We appreciate having all of you amazing viewers here too. And thanks to everybody who has been continually donating to help raise money for Malala Fund today. We appreciate it so much.
We have a hundred dollars from Smurgledwerf who says, I love the Sonic Block and this event. Donation goes towards saving the animals or uh, whatever the runner wants. <laughs> Thank you so much, Smurgle. All right, next up we have another Sonic the Hedgehog run from Metroid Crime. Take it away. We are 